Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here and welcome back to Age of Empires 4. You guys gave me some pretty good tips that I'm going to try to utilize today. Uh, one of them was kind of an obvious one, which is make sure all of our peasants are, are working farms, only one peasant per farm. The other big tip was that if I have an infantry unit amongst my cavalry units, it's going to slow down all of my cavalry units. So when we group those guys up, uh, and when we move them especially, I want to make sure that I'm moving the cavalry units on their own. Uh, and not grouping them up with any infantry units. Let's get going on cavalry, uh, because we need lots. And I kind of want to see... I don't think I have any peasants that aren't currently working. So I'm going to build some more peasants back here in our first town. I think everybody in our second town is doing okay. We could probably stand to make some more peasants there as well. But let's get some more food production going uh, down here. We're going to try to make this just our enormous food growing area. And basically any peasant that we pop out of here is going to be farming. Okay, they got a lot of troops coming in. A lot of troops coming in. Alright, if they're going to fall back, I'm going to let them. Uh, I'm not going to chase. That is looking rather grim over there, actually. Again, I'm not going to have him chase. We just really need to work up uh, as big of a force as we can. Whether or not they're going to give us time to do that, I don't know. And we do need to keep making a few more peasants. I really want to get this food production just cranking out so that we don't have to think about it anymore. But I'm also kind of worried about the fact that we don't have a lot of lumber coming in. Now, if I'm thinking about what we need lumber for, uh, we need some for everything. So I am going to have to get some guys... Uh, we have like one guy down here. Let's upgrade some of this stuff. Increase our gathering rate by 10%. It's funny because at the beginning of this, I told myself and you guys that this map wasn't going to last long enough to really worry about those upgrades. And yeah, how wrong was I? Increase the gather rate, double the rate at which villagers chop down trees. Let's do that. If we absolutely need to buy wood, we can do that at the market because we have a lot of gold. Now granted, we're not pulling in uh, any more gold because I've pulled all of our guys off of our gold mine. So the 6,000 gold we have is just kind of what we're working with. You guys all need to be setting up farms. Somebody said don't build on the roads. Yeah, my OCD gets bothered by stuff like that too, but sometimes I might end up building on the roads. Alright. 
Let's do wheelbarrow. Increase the capacity of villagers by plus 5 and their movement speed by 15%. These technologies research rather quickly, actually. They're just sending so many forces at us, guys. I feel like we're never going to get stabilized to a point where we can actually go on the offensive. And all I can really blame it on is that, that first little army that we sent over into this area. And we lost, like, a lot of that army. If we would have made peace with them, and then, you know, kept that army intact, uh, we would have been in a much better position. Alright, guys, hold the line here. Yeah, they've massed quite an impressive force here, and I'm really hard-pressed to see, like, how we're gonna deal with this. What we really need is some kind of lull where they're not sending wave after wave of enemy at us. I just don't feel like we're gonna be getting that, like, any time in the near future. Like, we can keep cranking out the villagers and working on farms and working on chopping wood. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. I don't know if it's going to be enough. La Bourse Like, it, it looks like a good size, right? It looks like, until you look up here, and you see that. And then you start to realize that this is not a very large force that we have. Maybe I need to have some more villagers here uh, doing farms as well. We don't have as much space, but we can kind of build out down into this area. I realize we haven't started gathering any stone yet. And I'm uh, kind of curious why. You uh, keep farming. All of you guys down here need to be doing something productive. Maybe I should be taking these guys and having them gather wood. Alright, we have a force of archers coming in. And what happens here is they keep dwindling away at us, so we're never able to get any traction as far as actually building up our forces. Uh, they just can't get anywhere. Arquière 
Why is Control-1 not grouping these guys up? Whoops. Nope. Okay, there we go. I don't want to get these guys out here. Put our archers off to the side over here. And our spearmen here in the middle. Yeah, see, now food isn't so much the issue now. Now wood has become the issue. That worked out okay. I really wish these guys would not follow so hard. That would be great. I also wish they would automatically join their groups. Like when I'm making archers, I want them to automatically join group 3 so I don't have to keep doing this over and over again. Alright, uh... I don't really know what else to do here, but try to move forward. Let's try to move our guys up here uh, in some kind of sequence. Let's move our cavalry up to the bridge.
Yeah, that was what we call a slaughter. They're slaughtering us, and I, I think, like I said, I keep coming back to the choice I made to try to take them on, and I think that was just the wrong choice. I can't see at this point that we're ever going to have a force big enough to handle these guys. I don't even know if we killed more than a handful there. Uh, and I thought I targeted the right units with the right units, you know, sending the cavalry at the archers, sending the archers at the spearmen. It didn't make any difference. It made zero difference. So yeah, I don't know. We don't, we don't have the resources to build up like an enormous group, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what it would take to overcome that, but at least three times what they have. And I don't think we're going to have the time or resources to build up a force that large, honestly. I could try to get some more people chopping down wood, now that we seem to have enough food. I don't know if that's going to make any difference. And, you know, they seem to have, like, infinite enemies, like, infinite units to just throw at us. And they do a damn good job of killing quite a few of our units every time they send a wave. And we're kind of just, like, perpetually behind, right? We are just perpetually behind, uh, and yeah, I'm starting to question whether this is a fruitless endeavor that's going to just loop us for hours. We could spend hours here, uh, fending off attacks, sending waves, failed waves against this keep. Quit me. Labour Sperance. Retourne comme matériel. Can I tell them to like automatically go? I can, okay. So those three should all go and start harvesting wood. They are sending some more enemies out against us. Back you guys up some. Get our archers going. I probably need to get more lumber going down here. What I really need are like guard towers. Can these guard towers shoot? Gate is unlocked. Okay. Yeah, I need towers that can like fire missiles or something. Then I need to be able to retreat behind them so that we can save some of our units here for actual assaults. Alright, everybody up. Alright, that worked out okay. Let's get everyone back. 
Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I just want to see if these guys can get them. They don't really like, they don't like to area attack. They're just kind of like following them and not killing them. I want to see more killing and less random running into each other. One of you guys said to do area attack and not direct attack. I'm assuming area attack is just when I click an area and unit attack is when I specifically select a unit. If there's more to it than that, I then I need more guidance. Uh, let's see. Let's get... Oh, you stop making spearmen. Don't stop making spearmen. Alright, our forces are growing a little bit. Uh, let's see. Maybe I should just be doing the men at arms. Maybe making the spearmen isn't a great idea. I, I don't want to have more than three unit types right now because I'm trying to learn how to switch between them with my hotkeys and make them do like. Okay, you guys should all. Why are you all not gathering wood? Where are you going? I don't know why you have to go down there. Uh, we are gonna apparently, apparently we're gonna need more houses. Uh, who would have thought? Uh, you. You are about to become our house builder. Let's put a new unsafe housing district outside the protection of the walls. That'll go over well. You can go work that farm since you're just sleepy. Yeah, let's not chase, shall we? Let's pull everyone back here between the trees. Now we're looking good as far as resources. We, we've kind of balanced out here. We, we haven't hit red. Cranking out units, I feel like our army is decent. And then I look up here, and I see these units back here forming up. Uh, I don't know what's over here. There could be anything, basically, right? And then the problem has been, like, getting all of our guys through here and out into the yard. And making them all actually get into a space where they're effective. Like, yeah, having my archers out front is not gonna be... It's not gonna be ideal. We're gonna, we're gonna fix the arrangements here. I'm wondering if I'm just going to be able to overpower them with archers. It's kind of feeling like my only hope. Population capacity reached. Where is my sleepy peon? There he is. I like how it shows you down here how many of your peons are sleepy and idle. Oh, that's great. Uh, hi, random lone archer. How would, how was that? Oh, 200 is all we can do? Oh, no. Apparently, guys, 200 is all we can do. Let's get our cavalry up here. Let's get our spearmen up here. 
All right, we are all formed up. Let's proceed. One, two, three. Like, hey guys, maybe you should attack the enemy. Can we get some arrows in that mess? I don't really know what the hell they're doing here, but I wish I wish the AI was a little bit smarter. Uh, but it, sadly it's not. Okay, let's move the ones up into the courtyard. I need to deal with these archers. Why can't they get over there? Oh no! What are they doing? I don't understand why they can't move. What are they doing? Why are they trying to run all the way around here? Here we go. Come on guys, get it! I don't think it's worth having the archers attack that, is it? Oh wow, we lost that entire force and did not accomplish it anything substantial. We started the tower on fire. I have to assume they're just going to turn right around and repair that. Guys, this is this is intense. Uh, the amount of units that we need is shocking. It's shocking. And maybe that's because I have not played an RTS in years. That could be what's going on. Okay. Uh, yep, yep, and yep. Now, now we wait, and we hope. Yeah, they just like, instantly rebuilt it. We put a small dent in their army, but at the cost of our entire army. All I can think on that one is that the rest of my guys were too far behind the cavalry. That's really like my only thought as to why that utterly failed. I really wish we could do something to, like, produce cavalry faster. Uh, would be great. They've got a lot of cavalry of their own now back here, just kind of patrolling around. We were so close. It's, it's actually kind of disgusting. I think this time I'm going to put the spearmen up front. And I'm just going to send them at the tower. And then we're going to send the cavalry in behind them if they can fit. Which there seems to be a lot of issues. There was clearly like open path here and they refused to go around. Uh, I don't know if that means I should just destroy all this shit as I go. Like maybe I should just be burning everything here. I, I think I'm going to do that this time. I'm going to bring us up and I'm going to have the spearmen destroy these palisades. And try to draw some of their forces out maybe. Uh, would be a better idea than just rushing in. I, I don't know. At this point, we, we have to try something different. Of course, the archers crank out so fast that we can never queue up enough archers. Yeah, they, they haven't fully resupplied their forces here, so I'm, I'm hopeful that... Oh, but they still have enough... Oh, oh no. Yeah, keep sending forces like that at us that we can actually crush. That would be swell. Victory! 
I'm, I'm definitely ready for this next push to be the last push, so I, I hope it works out. Uh, we have a sleepy peon. We can't, uh, we can't, we can't decrease our capacity anymore. So I guess this guy uh, can go back to gathering wood. Oh God! Okay, they've reinforced it. They've reinforced it. Oh, they're coming for us. Let's get into a better position here. Alright, let's pull him in. If we're gonna if we're gonna do this, let's do this the right way. Alright, I'm hoping that used up some of their forces here. Let's get these guys up here. These guys up here. Now, I, I want to get all of these producing max units before we head out. Just so that I have reinforcements to fling up here if, if this doesn't go right. Okay. Alright, you guys are group 2. You guys are group 3. You guys are group 1. There we go. Let's move up. Alright, group 1, kind of hang out over here. Group 2, I want you to come in here and start burning. Group 3. Alright, where's my group 2? Threes over here, twos, twos you need to burn this down. And maybe if I open this up, it'll make it a bit easier for us to navigate in here. I thought maybe it would draw them to us. Oh, here we go. Okay, all of you guys go.
We just can't take out their archers. We, we can't handle their archers. Their archers are annihilating us. I really need to get us in there. I want, I want everybody on these last archers here. Everybody over here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Why are we not moving? Alright, everybody on the keep. You guys need to like be smarter about your positioning. I want you over here. There you go. Out of range of the archers, please. Archers on these guys. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to take it. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is a good feeling. So the keep fell to the Norman army, create two armies. Was secured. Got it. Send one in the first Northern and then the second. Was over, and William the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England. That's that's great. I was getting worried there that we might never overcome that curve, uh, but we did it. Thank you guys uh, who left tips. Definitely about getting my production going uh, was the, a big tip. So total XP level eight. I'm not sure what this is granting us, but let's go ahead and take a look at what comes next here. William the Conqueror had recaptured York from the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the North. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said a hundred thousand people were killed. With ruthless efficiency, William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. But it wasn't to last. It would be thrown into chaos by his own children. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, his favorite son succeeded him. King William II, known as William Rufus, But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck. While out hunting, he was killed. William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry I. But there was a problem. At the time, Henry's elder brother, Robert, Duke of Normandy, had been on crusade. When he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. From Normandy, Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother. But he failed and returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the Channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. This rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army.
All right, uh, that is what we're going to do next, guys. I think this is going to be a good place for a break, though. That way, uh, when we come back, we can just jump right into the level, right into the action. I've learned a lot. I know now that we want to get our farms going early, that there, there basically isn't such a thing as too many villagers early on. Get those farms going, get the resources going. And yeah, just basically just keep building units. We want to do all that research early on. I held off on it last time because I honestly didn't think that the campaign map would last long enough for it to matter. Uh, as I learned, it definitely matters. So yeah, that's where we're going to start next time. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate all the support on the series. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Age of Empires 4 really soon. Bye now.